cool tonight because we're not we're just gonna be talking random shit. Yeah. But we have the uh the Wyatt Six was revealed. It the, was well not leaked. Of, it was leaked, not officially. Yeah. yeah. So that that could uh be uh subject to change. Now that it's out. Yeah, yeah let's just start with that, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I guess. yeah. So the names I, I remember were Bo obviously Dallas. Bo Dallas, mm-hmm. um Dexter Loomis, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. I actually think that's a really good fit. Yeah. Joe Gacy, another good fit. The one that we always said. Um, Nikki Cross. Nikki. Eh, I think it could work. She had that deranged fucking crazy character. I think she could pull that off. Okay. Think about her doing like, because she's been kind of like, she she subdued that character at one point. Yeah. Imagine her doing like a split kind of schizophrenic, schizophrenic kind of character Goes with from that. superhero to villain. Not necessarily superhero, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. very positive, and then to that. Um, what was that, four so far? Um, um, Wait, no, that's five, because I think we said uh, Bo Dallas. Sorry, I yeah. meant to pull it up. I think that was the <clears throat> the last one, though. Alexa, uh, is is she a part of this? She wasn't. It was um, Nikki Cross, Dexter Lumos, Joe Gacy, Eric w- Rowan. Eric Rowan, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't know. I feel like that might actually be Braun instead of Eric. I feel like maybe that's a Well, he just got there he was in negotiation for a contract, so that could be No, he's he got uh drafted. He got drafted? Yeah. Eric yeah. Rowan? No, uh Braun. Yeah, I was talking about Eric Rowan. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I see. So he's gonna sign on. Yeah. Gotcha. And so. I guess word is he's signing on for this. Yeah. I mean, he signed up for AEW for a few shows just for Brody Lee. I was going to say, he he definitely does, like, love Bray and Luke. Yeah. So I could see him doing it as, like, a tribute to both of them. Yeah, he lost both of his best friends. That's kind of sad. Bro. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even, like, really piece that. It's so obvious, but I didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. You almost forget about him sometimes. Yeah, well, after watching the documentary, I was like, "Damn, you're the only one left." He's the only one left. Well, yeah. Braun technically, but he's the only OG left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, I mean, I'll be honest. I, I, I like all the names. I don't think there's anything wrong with any of those names being part of the, of a group like that. Yeah. Um, we they, could talk about where we think they might go with the group because that never came to fruition with Bray Dexter Loomis. I, I... I, I get the creepiness about him, but he was really the Orange Cassidy of WWE. They did put him in a in a really stupid spot with that comedy shit. Bro, he was literally in the Royal Rumble while everybody's feuding. He just stood there. And stared at people. And just stared at people. And the big show looked at him and was about to approach and attack him. And he's just staring at him. And he stared back and was just like. And he just and went on. To, to the next person. Bro, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is this, bro? <laughs> but I mean, the way he looks, the way his entrance, even the stare, the whole thing, yeah. like he has something like different about him, which makes him special. So it's like Joe Gacy, like, which, you know, he's got to be a little bit relieved that Bray, <laughs> Bray took off. Yeah. uh Everybody was like, "Oh, he's not gonna make it because yeah. Bray's in the in the picture." Yeah, but I mean, he could be almost like the—I don't want to call it the reincarnation of Bray Wyatt, but like filling in that void a little bit. It could be Huskus. He could be Huskus. He could play that role. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the uh, I I guess Alexa, Alex is it Alexa? No, it's Alexa. Nikki. No, no, I I hear she's gonna be a part of it though. That'd Bliss. be more than six. Yeah, but I hear she's going to be almost like not, or this may be what I'm thinking she's going to be, is almost like she'll be a a prop in a way, like how Sister Abigail was. Maybe. Yeah, like she's not technically not part of the group, but she's like kind of looming around in some way. Gotcha. Yeah. She'll probably go against <clears throat> Nikki Cross, give, it, give some reason for her to be in the group. Or maybe they attack her for yeah. turning on Bray. And storyline, you know? Well, what do you think... What do you think the... Where does that go? Like, what does the group you think look like? Where do you think they go storyline-wise? Are we talking a new ministry type of group? Bruh, it's... I'm sad to say it. It's just a tribute to Bray. They have not gone any further than just that. You don't think they've thought it out any further? No, because if they do anything else, the only people that they might have 
some kind of relation <laughs> to go against his judgment day. Well, they had a feud. Uh, Bray was, I believe, starting a feud with with the Street Profits or the the Pride. The Pride. Um, before he he died, before he left. So, is it possible they go back and continue that, or they possibly never finish the LA Night? But that's another. You run into the risk of LA Night fucking outshining yeah. them again. He outshined Bray, so it's like. How impossible was that? But see, the thing we went back with Joe Gacy, not even Joe Gacy, even Dexter Lumis, sorry. Everything that you gave the attribute, the attributes of him is promo purposes only. It's not wrestling. Well, he's a so car- going into a feud and having him as someone in the ring. It's going to be like Karen Cross. It's going to be a snooze for us. That's the thing with, with, a guy like Dexter Loomis, that's why I don't mind him being part of the Wyatt Six, because you need him to have some kind of storyline thing going on. Because he's not going to come out and cut some kind of promo that's going to fucking wow us, right? It's all based on his character. So he needs to be, like, stalking people, stalking women, doing fucking, like, really creepy shit. I think that's where they need to go with him. Um, that's what he was already doing. Well, yeah, but they were doing it like comedy. They need to do it where it's like, you almost like think of it like, oh, if that motherfucker ever followed my my wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? He has to bring out that kind of anger in people. I don't know if they'll go that far they where he's they, doing they like- definitely won't go that far. Borderline fucking trying to abduct a bitch. Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Like, they won't get to that. But that's why we'll never have a ministry type thing. And And can we talk about that real quick? Because I think a lot of people- overrate the ministry a little bit like it was a cool group it was Mm -hmm. a great group don't get me wrong but other than like you know the minute the midian sacrifice and like the abduction of step stephanie and all that type of shit like after that they didn't really do anything Uh, you remember they became like the The corporate ministry corporate ministry once that happened it was pretty much they're not scary or anything anymore no they're they're merged with corporates just like the authority just, well, where I'm sorry to cut you off, but where I think it really did actually die was when Vince was revealed as the higher power. Yeah. Because then it was like, oh, it was just some corporate shit. And then they merged, like, I think a little bit later. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, I mean, it did give a great storyline. So at least they were able to be something, a stable, and create. A good storyline where to where we were questioning what they could do with the white six. I, well, I got a quite Well, you're talking about the ministry. Yeah. But I got a question whether or not that was great because Austin was involved. And the whole thing was Austin going to save Stephanie. Like, don't get me wrong. I love it the do, ministry. It it's, it's one of they my favorite were, groups. I'm it's just not saying. like they were bad in the storyline. It's not like it was an Austin shine. That shine out of it was Vince McMahon being the leader the whole time <laughs> yeah like he was we're just still cold fans so we're looking at his him as the knight in shining armor the pillar of that storyline was it was twisted shit that vince that was the created. cool shit we were watching yeah like watching him sacrifice fucking midian is still one of the like that shit scared me when i was a kid i was like oh shit this is on another he actually cut him <laughs> just having freaking what they call them ghouls being out there they're just the 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 whole the first few months of the ministry was amazing it gave even it, undertaker a more essence of what he was after even yeah. when they broke up because he still came out ministry well do you remember they were just at one point they were at the beginning that's why it was cool at the beginning because they were like literally attacking people and then they would turn them into a dark version yeah of them so that shit was cool as fuck to me and I'd be cool if they did something like that with the with the Wyatt Six. Well, that's what Wyatts were doing. Period. So Braun Strowman had the same amount of time as a Wyatt as freaking Randy Orton. 